Hello, hello from Tasmania. Chris and I arrived here a few hours ago and we drove straight to the Mona Museum and it was it was truly great. I mean, I wasn't expecting much because I've, you know, I'm from London and we have all the good museums, but it was it was really impressive uh, and mostly because of how the spaces were shaped and how they presented all the exhibitions. We truly truly enjoyed it. And now we drove over to Mortimer Bay to catch the sunset and we were just on time. Now having looked a bit uh, up and down this, uh, this beach, I noticed that there's a few logs that I could use as leading lines towards the colors of the sky. Now I'm going to wait for the sun to go down a bit more, maybe go completely and I'm going to take some pictures. I'm going to try to take them handheld because I want to become less reliant on my tripod. It's quite cumbersome to carry around sometimes, so um, we're gonna go handheld today. No filters either, so if I, if I need to, I'm gonna shoot three consecutive shots and bracket it and stitch them later. But yeah, now we wait. Okay, the log was a bit messy, so I've uh, opted out for a reflection shot instead um, here in the tidal pool that's been left. Tasmania is definitely colder than the rest of Australia. <sighs> That's it. The sky didn't go crazy, but it was still beautiful, beautiful pastel colors. Colors? Colors. Now it's time to go to our Airbnb of the day and get some sleep. Maybe wake up for a sunrise if we... Uh... Or maybe we shoot the stars. Or maybe we shoot the stars. Go with the flow.
this cute little cabin. We're out on the beach, but you can't see anything because it's dark. I'll show you in the morning. Good morning, it's day two of our trip here in Tasmania. We woke up to see if there's gonna be a sunrise and it was super clear like it is now so we didn't bother getting out of bed because it was quite cold this morning. Um, but now we're just had a shower, we're having a coffee and looking at the people surfing. And soon we'll be on our way to our next destination. We're on our way to northeast now, but first we're going to make a stop at a place called something pavements. What's it called? Tessellated. Tessellated pavements. Um, it's. I have no idea what it is. Let's go find out. <laughs> Right, we've made it to Tessellated Pavement. It's a 10 minute walk that way. I'm gonna go take some pictures. I know I said yesterday that I don't want to use tripods so much, but now I have to because I want to do a long exposure of the waves hitting these pavements. And in order to do that, I need to use a tripod and an ND filter, so. Okay, so I have a 10 stop ND filter, a polarizer that I've turned to remove reflections from the water, and I've used again this little contraption that hides my viewfinder so that so that there's no light leaks. Usually I get a purple light leak in the middle of my picture when I don't have that, when I do long exposures in the sun, so that's for that. This spot is probably better for uh, sunset or sunrise, but this is the time that we can be here and this is the time of shooting it. So making the most of the situation as we often do. Still beautiful, beautiful day. I'm looking for some good lines that could lead your eye uh, through the scene. And I think I might, might have found one. This here could be a good shot. Um, But yeah, there's not a lot of obvious things for me to take a picture of. A challenge is often what I need to get my creative juices flowing. Find a giant jellyfish. Do you love jellyfishes? I love. Yeah. 